Hey y'all, it's Day or Day La Soul, and today I am doing a wash day video as you guys can see with the title. I just took my puff down. Um, my hair is pretty dirty. And yeah, I'm gonna get into this wash day. We're gonna have some interesting discussions about oils and this topic that has come up about naturals um, shouldn't be using oils on their hair. So let's, let's we're gonna hop into that. We're gonna talk about that. Okay, y'all so apparently I personally have not seen this debate but I have a few people who slid up in my DMs asking me my thoughts about it because y'all know apparently there's some debate about whether we should be using oils on natural hair because stylists um, really don't use oils in salons and then they're speaking out about you know how uh, oils could negatively affect your hair and then there also are youtubers who are coming out saying that you know they stopped using oils too and they feel like they're having better results without using oils also I've noticed in the last couple years people are getting back to using grease and if you have paid attention a lot of brands have now released greases they're calling them bombs they're calling them hair dressings what else they call them pomades superfoods they, they have all kinds of names but when you open the bottle it's just it's just grease <laughs> that's what it is so um i want to do a video talking about that and i also wanted to use grease on my hair instead of oil to see how that would work so for my products today, I actually decided to go with the brand called Do Grow. A lot of us remember that from back in the day. That's what my mom used to use in my hair growing up when I used to get my little press and curls and have my little doodle -doo braids and all of that. So I decided to just take it back and just use Do Grow because, you know, it's an old school product. It worked and why not? I'm going to do a video on grease, so I might as well take it all the way back and use something that is like a staple for actual grease. So um, the products I have today is the moisturizing shampoo and the repair conditioner from their collection. Um, if you are not familiar with Do Grow, Do Grow is basically known for their growth. Like they have the stimulating hair oil and that was like the thing back in the day. We had to go through and oil your scalp, oil your scalp. And they also have the hair vitalizer grease your scalp, grease your scalp. That was like the thing. We had to oil and grease our scalps, which I'm a big, big advocate for taking care of your scalp. The first step to growing your hair and getting healthy hair is to make sure that your scalp is clean and it is nourished. So they have two options. They have the stimulating hair oil and then they also have the hair vitalizer. I said I'm gonna be using um, grease today, so I'm gonna be using the hair vitalizer. They also have a hair polish and shine mist. This is basically just a hair polish, a gloss that you apply after you finish um, doing your hair. You can use this on your actual wigs, your weaves, your braids, and you can use this on your natural hair after styling or some days later if your hair is just kind of losing some shine. So yeah, let's go ahead. I've already wet my hair. Let's hop into this video. And before I forget, y'all, we are going to have a giveaway at the end of this video. You will have two chances to enter the giveaway. You will have an opportunity to win some full-size products. So make sure you guys watch all the way to the end so you can get your two opportunities to enter. Okay, y'all. So as I mentioned, this is a moisturizing shampoo. It lathers up really well. My hair feels good as I'm applying it. So I would say this actually is like a more, it feels moisturizing. And I will also say that it does, um, I feel like it's a, like a gentle cleanse, like a gentle cleanse is going on. Um, it does have vitamins and it has herbs in it. So this is a moisturizing shampoo. As I'm applying it, it does feel soft. My hair is not feeling tangled at all. It has a good lather. I can kind of go through and like pull out like little places where my hair is kind of knotted a little bit. Um, it is vitamin and herb formulated. It also, yeah, it has good detangling going on with this. Like, look at that. Um, it also says on the bottle that it helps reduce breakage and it also helps to allow hair to grow stronger. So again, this is all about growth. And as y'all can see, I am making sure that I rub this on my scalp. That's like one of the important parts of shampooing. Make sure, and it feel good, but make sure you are rubbing your scalp. But you want to make sure it's clean because y'all, 
An unhealthy scalp cannot grow healthy hair. That just it's just not how it works. And I always use the comparison of think about your hair like a garden. If your soil is rotten, then ain't no flowers coming out of that. Okay, so I just rinsed out my shampoo. My hair feels good. It's real soft, real soft. And it's starting to clump, so my curl pattern agrees with the shampoo. So next up, I am using the Repair Conditioner. Um, this promotes strong and healthy shiny hair, repairs slid ends, moisturizes, and it also reduces breakage. Again, a part of growth is about length retention. You can be growing healthy hair and not even know it because you're breaking it off as it grows in. So I love the fact that these products are mentioning breakage and talking about like actual length retention because a lot of times unless you're like physically like going bald or like you're having an actual um, thinning, you're experiencing thinning of your hair, your hair is probably still growing. It's just the fact that you're not retaining length is why you're not seeing your hair get longer. So there are two components to growing hair. There's actually growing the hair out of your scalp, making sure your scalp and everything is healthy. And then there's actually retaining the length and that comes with using the right products to make sure that they are good for your hair, they're helping moisturize and they're strengthening your hair so it's not breaking off and having a good routine to maintain that length as well. That means moisturizing, protein treating, trimming as needed, um, doing enough manipulation that your hair can handle because there is a such thing as over manipulation and then there's a such thing as under manipulation where you're not going through and detangling and washing your hair enough so it's getting tangled and then when it's time to wash again finally it's breaking off in the wash process because you haven't detangled in so long So I have my leave-in in. I already like went through and applied that. I rinsed out that conditioner and everything. My hair does feel super, super soft and just real lightweight. Got a lot of bounce to it. I have no product but leave-in on my hair and even my little curls is trying to do something. For the record, I am doing my normal routine. I'm just subbing out where I would apply my oil at with grease so at this point i'm doing a twist out today so i'll go ahead and i apply my styler today so i am using a twisting cream i'm gonna go ahead and just you know do the normal routine um but let's talk about this oil conversation for the record again i'm not telling anybody to not use oil however i do see where these people are coming from if you are doing your routine and you are constantly in a state of just like your hair is dry um, or it's drying out fast, this moisture is just not being retained, it is worth listening to and it is worth giving a try. Because I can say my own personal experience when I was going natural, um, it was back when shea butter and olive oil was the like important or not important, they were like the trendy, the trendy oils to use. And they really didn't do anything for my hair. In fact, I felt like when I applied them, my hair would feel stiff. It would feel like, especially when I apply shea, shea butter, it would just feel like hard. Like it was just, it was like it was taking the moisture out. And what, what happens is if you are using the wrong ingredients in general, specifically the wrong oils on your hair or... Or the big thing is, if you are not properly moisturizing your hair, when you apply an oil, you are sealing in dryness. Now, I know a lot of people have heard this before, but it is true. The other issue with oils is that if you are not properly cleansing your hair, which I know a lot of naturals don't like using clarifying shampoos or strong shampoos, if you're not proper, properly cleansing your hair and you're putting layer and layer of oil on your hair, that too is also contributing to your lack of moisture. And what these stylists and some YouTubers are saying is that people are coming to them like, oh, my hair, I use these products and they suck because of da 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 da. And then when you actually get into a chair, your hair is super oily and they got to shampoo your hair two, three, four times just to break through. And we're not doing that at home. A lot of people aren't shampooing their hair two or three times at home because they don't even like shampooing it one time at home. So I totally get where they're coming from. I'm the type of person where I want to see all sides before I make an opinion on something or state my opinion on something. When I was thinking about it and listening to it, you know, when I go to salons, stylists really don't put oil on my hair, now that I think about it. But they have that upper hand because they have that 
product knowledge and they're so familiar with textures they know how to grab the right products or they have an arsenal of products to properly treat your hair um, while they're there the ones that specialize in healthy hair let me let me rephrase that because I know somebody's gonna be like oh I went to a style one time my hair was dry and they didn't use oil when I use oil it's moisturized but people who know their stuff they know what they're talking about they specialize in natural hair um yeah my style is my style is really all the reason why my hair is so healthy and why I learned my hair. But they don't use oil at the salon. The only time I really get oil used at the salon is after I got my hair braided and she goes through and drops some oil, like some do girl oil, which she literally has do girl oil in in the salon. But um, she drops that on my scalp. But other than that, they're not layering oil on our hair. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. I use oils. Y'all know I like to do the LCO method here at my house. That works for me. I don't have what they have, so I got to do what works for me. And that right there is like my actual problem with that. The problem isn't the oil. It's really going to boil down to... So at the end of the day, the problem isn't the actual oil itself. It really boils down to the person, their texture, and the method that is being used on their hair. Like, I don't like how people make blanketed statements as stylists and even as YouTubers um, saying that don't do this anymore just because they don't like to do it. Because everybody's hair is different. Everybody's using different products. Everybody's working with a different routine. So you can't just make a blanketed statement and say that oils don't work for everybody because there's clearly a ton of people out here using oils and they work for people because we're still buying them. And y'all know, if y'all haven't peeped with my accent, I live in the South and there's this saying that goes, there is more than one way to cook an egg. Just because you like yours fried with some salt and pepper, that don't mean there's nothing wrong with my scrambled eggs, with my cheese and my chives. Nothing at all. So we just got to keep that in mind. And I think another thing we have to do um, as viewers, because I'm a viewer as well, I create content, but I also view and listen. As viewers, we have to realize that, you know, everything we hear isn't a personal attack on us or isn't personal advice directed to us if you use oils and it's working for you like it's working for me at home then girl, keep using your oils don't let this take away from your routine however if you are using oils and you feel like you are having a perpetual state of dryness and something you know just it's just not clicking with your routine it's it's not going to kill you to listen you're already struggling with dryness so why not try to cut out oils and see what happens because the way that you fry your egg or the way that you poach your egg ain't got nothing to do with my scrambled eggs and cheese. So that that is my opinion on this little debate that's going on with the natural hair community. As long as your hair is moisturized and you're getting it done at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Like, let it, just let it roll off your back when you see somebody doing something that's different or it doesn't apply to you. Y'all, I feel like I am just breezing right through my head. My hair feels so manageable. Okay, y'all, so this is the next day. My twists are all dry, hopefully. Y'all know sometimes it be like that. My hair takes a long time to dry in the summer, too. But um, I think it's dry. So I am going to go ahead and use the hair vitalizer. I am going to go ahead and grease my scalp because I have not done that. And that's normally a part of my routine. I go through and take um, oil and oil my scalp. So I am going to actually grease my scalp. I think it's especially important to do this in the summer because I'll tell y'all now, some people, especially my boyfriend, if you have like your scalp exposed, which I'm going to have my scalp exposed in a few weeks, I'm going to get a protective style. Um, they actually have, they think that it's flaking, but they're actually having like sun, I don't know what to call it, I don't want to call it sunburn, but the sun actually makes his scalp peel. I think that grease could definitely help with that. You apply your grease on there, it's just kind of like a layer of moisture and like buffer nutrients or whatever so that the sun ain't tearing your scalp up because that happens i feel so old school right now this actually feels good and the consistency of the grease is real like i don't know how to explain it it's not waxy at all it's real soft like it's coming out nice and soft i feel like it's going on soft like you see in that middle section it's already kind of like absorbed it's not just sitting there on top of my hair and i'm not using a lot just going through each part it's not leaving like a film on my hands. My hands just feel really, really soft. Like if y'all look, there's not even like super oiliness on it. It's like a really, really good consistency. So I'm actually excited to separate my twist with this because what I was worried about was, you know, what if it just kind of looks waxy or stiff or something because it's so, um, 
just apply a little bit because it's so thick but yeah okay let's get to separating and i will let y'all know what i think about separating my hair with grease when i get it all separated all right so i pretty much got my um first half of my head separated and what i wanted to say was i feel like this does a way better job uh like kind of like remedying you know how sometimes the ends are just bushy really because we need a trim <laughs> but i feel like this just does a way better job smoothing out smoothing out the ends than oil does like it's still a little bushy at the ends of course but overall i just feel like it makes the ends look a little neater so um i'm gonna use this a few times um just to kind of see if it's a big big difference but i do feel like using this it's just like a lot more softer and just it really smooths the ends also I wanted to add it's like kind of way more comfortable to use because my hands are not super oily they're just really really soft and feel moisturized it's not oily at all so I do like that sometimes when I'm applying um, oil and I'm separating I just feel like my hands are like drenched in oil so to me that means that this is actually like safe and absorbing inside of my hair versus just sitting on top and yeah I, I like this I really do so I will be doing this a few more times and of course I will update y'all if it's something that I'm just gonna start doing from now on because there is a such thing too as hair wax and I feel like this is it like when I go to salon sometimes and get my um rod sets the stylist will use a hair wax as she's separating and I feel like this is like the same effect. I just feel like it's separating a lot easier. The hair feels like way less frizzier. If I got some bushy ends, I can just kind of take it and just smooth it on the ends. I, I really enjoy this. So this is my hair all separated with the grease and I really like my results. I feel like it definitely did a better job than oil taming my ends just because the consistency, I don't know, something about it just smoothed out that frizz really, really well. Um, that oil just doesn't do. I also feel like it absorbs better. My hands and everything, they're not oily. It doesn't feel greasy. I just feel like my hands feel super moisturized. My hair feels great. It doesn't feel weighed down. So yeah, I'm going to go through now and fluff it and we're going to wrap up this video. Okay, y'all. So this is my final look and I absolutely love, love, love how my hair turned out. Again, it does not feel weighed down at all. It feels really, really soft. And I feel like my ends look neater from using that grease. So I'm definitely going to use it again. I will keep you guys updated. So let's get into these giveaway rules. All right. So all you have to do is three things. You need to follow the Do Grow brand on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. The links will be in the description box and I will pin the comment in the comment section so it'll be in the description box and it'll be at the top of the comment section once you are done doing that just comment a heart so i know who's entering the giveaway and that's it so three rules follow on facebook follow on instagram comment a red heart when you're done so i know you're participating in the giveaway and that's it make sure you guys check the description box too to read more of the disclaimers and rules on the giveaway they will also be in the pinned comment so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to leave a thumb up. Let me know what you think about this oil discussion. You know, are you pro oil? Or do you not use oil in your routine? Once again, there is no right or wrong answer. If your hair is healthy and you feel like you're retaining moisture, that is all that matters. So, it's worth listening to if you feel like, you know, oils aren't working for you. But at the same time, if oils are working for you, it's perfectly fine. Keep using oils. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Bye.